Hi, I want to share some more tips with you and today uh, I want to share a few tips about the reef hook uh, that I'm using. So the reef hook uh, used to be just an oversized fish hook but today you have commercially available f uh, reef hooks. I prefer the single hook like that. You also have double ones but I prefer the single ones because you can easily attach them to your equipment. Now, the reef hook is great to use and sometimes necessary to use if you dive in very high current conditions. Uh, places like Palau, for example, is very popular. What it does to you, it actually it allows you to anchor to the reef or anchor to the bottom and actually surf on the, on the current, where you normally would be swept away or you have to hold on for dear life. Here you can hook on, you can anchor on, and you can actually relax, catch your breath and enjoy the dive. Now, a few things to think about when you're using the hook. You're doing this only in a very high current environment, so you need to prepare yourself what to do when you actually get to the hook inside. And it may a hook inside may be like that, means time to hook in. You want to have the reef hook which is balanced, so you want to centrate it uh, on the center of your body. So the best way i found is to take two straps for the shoulder straps, make a triangle like that and just clip in. That is way you will have tension in the center of your body like that and it will be to have, it's very comfortable like that. If it's only on one side you're gonna end up hanging like that in a curve. So you go up to the hook inside, you want to look for something on the reef that is dead. So either some dead reef or a rock, something like that. You want to look for an anchor point, so you want to have a, maybe a hole or a crack. And once you're there, now you're swimming like a madman. So once you're there, hook up. But when you let go, keep some tension on the, on the cable here or on the rope. Because if you have the tension on it, it will not slip from the anchor point. And once it's fully stretched, you can let go. And if you chest up a bit, the water will push you in the chest and you kind of surf on the current like that. And you have some really, really cool and, and enjoyable experience. When we, once we're here, you can first of all catch your breath because you've been swimming, you're probably breathing too much now. You relax, you swim. Uh, you can fix your camera if you need to do that, or you can just enjoy the marine life passing by. If, if you are a little bit too heavy, a bit too much weight in your weight belt or in your weight pockets, you may go down on the reef here a little bit. So you may need to inflate a bit more air, so kind of just float up and hang, hang in the cable like that. So enjoy, that's one trick if you have too much weight on. So. But when it's time to let go or unhook like that, don't forget to release that additional air in case you have it. Now, time to unhook, again, keep tension on it. And once you let go now, you're gonna disappear, right? So be ready, unhook, and then you're gonna float away. When you float away now, you don't wanna have a dangling hook because they can get caught and stuff and damage stuff so again hook it up to your BCD and continue your dive. I like to keep it nice and tidy like that so on my BCD I have a nice little loop where I can hook it into. You can also have a snap hook or a hook like that but you want you want to have it close to your body so it does not get snug uh, so it does not get caught or anything. But it, at the same time it's easy to to hook in or hook, or hook out like that. Cable should be close to your body, maybe you want to tuck it in, up to you. <clears throat> when it's time to go back on a boat, you need to unhook the left, so it's on your right hand side. You can open up your BCD, and pass it up to the boat, if you like that. So, enjoy the currents. <laughs>